Alpha Chips. Drunken Pete reporting from a new area in my apartment. Um, before I start, there are boobs in the thumbnail. Why are there boobs in the thumbnail? I didn't talk about boobs in this video, so I thought it was relevant. Relevant. Plus, if you came here just because there was boobs in the thumbnail and click on it, and are now like, do I even want to watch anymore this fucking video? Post in the comments that you did that. Say, I came for the boobs. I came for the boobs. If you're not a subscriber. And then press subscribe and like. And that's it. Okay, anyway, so this video is called Five Things I Thought as a Kid. And uh, I think they're pretty funny. I've seen a couple of YouTubers do this. I don't know where to look. Um, and so I'm going to tell you five things I thought as a kid that uh, are pretty funny, I think. And I hope you enjoy. So let's get started. Number one thing I thought when I was a young kid was that animals could talk. And I thought this because there's, there's reasons for everything in this list. I thought animals could talk because one of the first animals we ever had, because when, when I was young, we moved on a street where the first house on the street and the neighbors were pretty far away. And we, we babysat a parrot. I think it was a parrot. It was a gray and blue. I don't know what kind of bird it was, but it talked. And it said things like, hello, I'm pretty, how are you? And it said a lot of things. It was a fucking smart bird. And one of the things it said was, I love to learn. And so I used to ask it, do you go to school? And my sister was like, did you just ask the bird if it went to school? And then it would give some other stupid answer. I'm like, no, you're not paying attention, you know? I go, and then I just thought birds were just like flighty. Like, they're not listening to you. Then they'll talk to you. Like, what do you want, you know? So I basically thought all animals could talk. <laughs> so stupid. So I used to go to people's houses. I remember the first dog I ever met on our street was a German Shepherd. It killed a poodle later on that year. I think that's why I hate dogs. I don't really hate dogs. I'm scared of dogs. Dogs don't like me. But uh, I used to talk to the dog. And I say, what does he say? Does he talk? And my sister's like, why don't you ask him if he goes to school? And I'm like, shut the fuck up, Lynn. Anyways, so I thought all animals talked. What does your cat say? <sighs> Meow? What was that cat? Cat language? Like, what else? Does it, like, does it count? People were like, this kid's weird. All right, so now that's what I thought about animals. So number two is I thought all mountains were volcanoes. All mountains. And the reason that I thought this, probably, <coughs> was because, excuse me, there is no excuse for me, is, is that <clears throat> in Montreal, we have a mountain. It's pretty flat here. And um, it's hilly. Um, there's a mountain called, I'm going to forget the name of the mountain, Mount Royal, and it's a mountain, and you don't get this, you couldn't see it from our house, you can see it from here now, but, uh, yeah, so, one day my dad's like, we're going to go to the oratory, which is a giant church that's on top of Mount Royal that has a saint's heart in a jar there. It's fucking sick. Someone stole it, but then they got it back. I don't know, life is weird. So we're driving up the mountain, and I'm shitting my pants, because I'm like, what if this thing goes off, you know? And I go, Dad, do, do we have to go to the top? Because what if, like, things start happening here and we have to get off this mountain immediately, if not sooner? Like, what if it starts erupting? My dad, I didn't know this at the time, because I thought every mountain was a volcano, but Mount, Mount Royal was a volcano. So my dad's like, Peter, this thing isn't going to ever erupt again. So in my head, all mountains were volcanoes. So every time we'd go, like, hiking or somewhere, I'd be like, is this a mountain? Like, even... Even hills, because my dad explained to me that there's there's molten rock in the middle, like lava in the middle of the earth, and it, that's what volcanoes spew out or something like that. And so I just thought any, like, you go to the park, it'd be a big hill. I'd be like, those kids are fucking crazy to be on that hill. It could fucking explode like a, like a little zit, you know? Be fucking lava everywhere, and everyone's going to die. So I was scared of hills, mountains, because I realized that not all mountains are volcanoes. Okay, moving right along. Oh, this one's really stupid. Okay, I have my list over here. I thought, I was, I don't know how old I was. I thought we made the air. Like, you know in your house you have vents, the air is coming in for circulation and shit. I thought like, we made our own air. And then outside, ugh, there could be some places, like the desert. I thought there was no air in the desert. That's why nobody lived there. And why I thought that that cactuses don't breathe air, or lizards, or snakes, because that's what's in the desert. There's no air there, because no one's making air. I thought that cars eat air that we made, and that uh, the city, like, made air. I thought air 
came out of the sewers, I think. So, you know, I'd go by a park on my bike, and I'd be like, I don't want to go through the park, because there's no one there to make air. Like, who's making the air? I'm just going to go, uh, 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 find some air. I never ran out of air, and eventually my mother, I mean, the wind, the wind was, was the government making air. Like, oh, God, thank God, some air. So that, that was pretty stupid, too. <laughs> I remember thinking that, and then realized one day, like, oh, God. I'm not a kid anymore. Okay, so number four, four, is that I thought your job, my father's job, like paid for everything. Like you work, he worked for a company called John Brooks. He was in charge of the plumbing department. President of the plumbing, plumbing president of the president of the whole company. Anyways, he hated that job. And I thought it was like, okay, Mr. D, this is the car you get and you're gonna live here and we're gonna pay for it all. But you just go to work. Like I knew money existed and stuff, but I thought that, you know, your company gave you your car. So whenever I saw someone with a nice car, I'm like, that guy must work for a really good company, you know? And that's kind of true, because you make more money when you work for a good company. Well, not really. I, I work for a good company, and I'm not making that much money. I still live in an apartment. What's wrong with me? Oh, yeah. I drink too much. Should have shot, too. So, yeah, I thought that was it. And I just said to my dad, when you get a raise, are you going to get a better car? And my dad's like, well, if I can afford a better car. And I'm like... Well, doesn't the company just give you a new car? I'm like, it's like what? No. I'm like, oh, but well, what about the house and that we live here? Like, what is that? My dad's like, it's by choice. We wanted to live here. And like, your job was okay with that? He's like, that's nothing to do with your job, you idiot. And I'm like, oh, okay. So that's it, no scratcher. Don't pick your nose, my dad said. Next, number five, okay? This is why there's boobs in the thumbnail. I thought, this is so stupid. I was a kid, what do you want? I thought that women got pregnant when their boobs were big enough to feed babies. Like, their boobs are big enough. Like, oh my God, there's so much milk in my boobs. I'm pregnant now. Like, I'm going to get pregnant so the kid could suck the milk out of my kids. That's what I thought as a kid, all right? And I remember thinking that because our neighbors had, like, three kids. And I'm like, how fast does this woman's boobs grow? And asking my mom, like... Mom, like, are your boobs ever going to have big enough to have another kid? Because, like, I have a sister who sucks. Just joking. And, like, want a brother or something. My mom's like, what? And, like, that's not how it works. You'll figure it out. Like, whatever. That was no sex ed in my class. I mean, my family. I don't even know how I learned about sex. I think I'm still learning. Quick. Oh, God. Okay, I go out. This video with boobs in the thumbnail about five things I thought as a kid goes out. I hope this is recording. It's on my iPhone in this new area. Let me know if you like this area. It's kind of easy to film with my phone. I don't know how the sound and the quality is going to be, but that's it. I go out. Bye! Oh my god. It's a lot easier than making pumpkins just making videos like this.